Welcome. Today we'll be making butternut squash risotto with pecorino and crispy country ham. I'm Chef Willie, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. All right, to get this recipe started, I'm gonna warm up five cups of chicken broth. Cover this and let it get warm. Now I'm gonna clean this butternut squash. I'm gonna show you a couple techniques. I'm gonna use a knife to peel it and a peeler to peel it. You're gonna separate it into two different sections. I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling. And this is the easier, safer way if you don't feel comfortable using a knife, peeler works just fine. You just make sure you're cleaning off all of the skin. And once you get all of that skin off, you're gonna cut this bottom round piece off in half and you'll see that there are seeds inside of it. So what you're gonna do is take a spoon and you're gonna scrape all of the seeds out and the membrane that's connected in there half inch dice all of this, you should get three cups out of one small butternut squash. All right, and then for this top part, you wanna cut it a little bit smaller and manageable pieces. All right, now that you've got these all cut, you have your warm pot. You're gonna put two tablespoons of oil one cup of chopped onions, and a tablespoon of minced garlic. And now we will add the squash to the pot. All right, I'm gonna give that a quick stir, just to get that coated with oil as well. And we're gonna let them cook down, get soft. And while we're doing that, I'll go get the rest of the ingredients. All right, now that our squash is gone for about seven to eight minutes, looks nice and tender and ready for some white wine. And you're just using one cup of dry white wine. And we're gonna reduce that down to a sec till it's almost dry. Stir that in there. All right, while that's reducing, I'm going to grate this Pecorino Romano. It's a little bit salty, so that is why we are using a unsalted broth, because this is where the, that salt is gonna be added. Now that the cheese is grated, I'll put the country ham in the broiler for about five to six minutes. I've put the ham on non-stick foil to make my job a little bit easier. Now that we've got the ham in the broiler and the wine is almost reduced, I'm gonna add one cup of Arborio. I'm gonna stir in the Arborio, get it coated a little bit. And now at this point is where you are not gonna leave this pot. You're gonna stay here and tend to this arborio, stirring it to bring out all the starches from the rice. Now we're ready to add broth that we have. And the reason why we are using warm broth is to keep the cooking process going so it doesn't restart, because you're trying to get this arborio to become creamy for your risotto. It should take about 20 to 25 minutes to use all of your broth. Once the broth does reduce, then you're gonna add your next half cup. Continue stirring. Just make sure you're taking up all of the arborio from the bottom of the pot, because you don't want any of it to stick. You wanna make sure you're creating that starchiness to make it nice and creamy.
And you'll notice that once you get closer to the end of the broth, it will start soaking in a lot faster once it starts getting ready to be finished. It's been about five minutes now. I can check on the country ham, make sure it's crispy. It's beautiful and crispy, ready to set off to the side to cool off so we can cut it. And now I will add the last half cup. Now that the ham is pretty much cooled off, I can go ahead and cut it. All right, broth is absorbed and risotto looks delicious and ready. And I'm gonna go get some plates for my final touches. All right, the risotto looks like it's ready. Yeah, the Pecorino Romano, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You're gonna stir the cheese in until it's completely melted. The saltiness of it seasons up your risotto well. It's beautifully melted, and now it's time to plate. And add this beautiful crispy country ham to the top. And a little bit of chives to garnish it, give it some color. And then my favorite part is where I get to taste the dish. So the dish is beautiful, creamy, not too much salt. The country ham adds a little bit of crispness to this nice creamy risotto. Give this one a try and I'm sure you'll add it into your dinner rotation. Click the link below for the full recipe with exact measurements and subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School videos. Thanks.